morning. Greetings, friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 32 years of practicing pharmacy, I've seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like acne, psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, It's a regenerating system. It is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, if you have a health challenge you or a loved one needs help with, if you want to have a comment or success story you'd like to share, if you've got questions about our True Skin Health products, ingredients, formulations, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side, 844-236-6010. And we love hearing from you, 844-236-6010. If you want to purchase any of the Longevity products or sign up to join the Bright Side Ben team for a one-time $25 fee, you can call 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470. You can also purchase the Longevity products or Click on the Join the Team link and join the Brightside Ben team off the websites brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. We have news stories, blog posts, as well as videos on all our websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. And you could sign up to join the Brightside Ben team right off the website or purchase Longevity products right off the website as well. And don't forget to check out our Truth Skin Health products at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Okay. Welcome back to The Bright Side, 844-236-6010 is our number. We've been talking about fats, the different varieties of fats, the lengths of fats. For the most part, when we talk about dietary fats, we're talking about acids. Fats or dietary fats tend to be acidic, thus the term fatty acids. These fatty acids come in three main forms, if you will three main sizes and three main forms, the three sizes, short, medium, and large, the three forms of fats, you have phospholipids, and then you have um, cholesterol, and then you have fatty acids. We talked about phospholipids as being super electrical. They're found in electrical tissue, and that's why you want to eat your eggs. Your eggs are great. probably nature's best source of natural phospholipids. Soy is also a good source of phospholipids. Pretty much all plants are going to have phospholipids in them. I, eggs are still the best way to get your phospholipids, in my opinion. If, you have, if you're if you using lecithin, you're uh, ingesting phospholipids. Lecithin is a complex of phospholipids. So if you're using lecithin by itself, it's lecithin granules. Or if you're using your ultimate enzymes, which contain lecithin, I'm pretty sure they contain lecithin. I better check that, but I'm pretty sure they do. Most, most, good, most digestive enzyme formulations will have some lecithin in there because lecithin is part of bile. Bile is also a source of lecithin, so bi- or a source of uh, phospholipids. So, uh, if you're using bile salts, you'll get phospholipids as well. If you're using bile supplements, fish is a good source of lecithin. Organ meats are a good source of lecithin. Wheat germ, soy, and other legumes, peanuts, and then algae and yeasts are also a good source of these phospholipids. And that's why you want to eat these kinds of foods as much as you can. Eggs every day, fish every day. Well, fish these days you got to be a little bit careful of, of course, but. <laughs> It's too bad because they're super, super unbelievably nutritious. Seafood in general is. Everything in the ocean is dense with nutrition. The ocean, the ocean's amazing, is an amazing place, uh, amazing uh, demonstration of the diversity and the abundance of life, livingness. 
the ocean is pure livingness and the substances that are found in the ocean contain the most dense concentration of life promoting molecules that you can ever eat. And that's why seafood and algae and, and fish and all of that is so abundant. You know, by the way, you know what it is about the ocean largely it's a lot of things actually, but it's the minerals. The ocean is, is the perfect mineral media for growing life, for inducing life. Oh yeah. You, you know where the same mineral media is found? In our bodies, our blood has a mineral media of the, it is like an ocean is an ocean like mineral media. Wherever you have these minerals, these electrically charged minerals, you find life. That's why fulvic minerals are so important. That's why plant derived minerals are so important. The soil minerals were all derived from the ocean. Anyway, phospholipids are key players in the health of, of the brain and the nervous system. Alzheimer's disease, dementia, eat your eggs, eat your phospholipids. Skin is important, uh, an important place uh, where, where phospholipids play a role. Phospholipids in the skin help keep your skin moist and soft. Phospholipids in the skin have antimicrobial properties. Phospholipids in the skin are important for uh, the neurology of the epidermis and the, and the dermis, the nerves, um, things like ne um, skin pain and uh, shingles and uh, irritations and inflammations and immune act, uh, immune actions in the skin. Eczema play, uh, fossil lipids play a major role in things like eczema and psoriasis. Eat your eggs, use your lecithin. Then there's cholesterol, which is absolutely staggeringly important when it comes to health and biochemistry. Mind blowing. It is, we could do an entire program every day about the importance of cholesterol and what cholesterol is and how health relevant it is. And this is why it's so ironic to me as a biochemist, as a, a healthcare professional, as a pharmacist, it is so ironic and so laughable, absurd, tragic, tragic comedy. It's a tragic comedy. It's a tragedy and a comedy. This obsession, this national and cultural obsession that we have about lowering cholesterol, about what cholesterol really is. I know I talk about it all the time, but you can't talk about it enough because what we're going against is a PR monster, a PR machine, a PR leviathan, a public relations leviathan, advertising and marketing monster that is pumping this meme, this belief system, this idea, this, this, this thought form that cholesterol is some kind of demon and that it has to be lowered. It is so important. I, I mean, I cannot even begin to tell you how important it is far by far and away, in my opinion, the most functional health relevant and biological, biologically valuable molecule in the, not just in the body, not just in the human body, in all of animal life, in all of animal life. You can make a case for other things, serotonin, you can make a case for maybe, or insulin, you can make a case for as being fun to, you know, having that kind of relevance, but even them, serotonin and uh, insulin, which are also two very fundamentally important molecules, they depend on cholesterol and they're related to cholesterol. These are all stress management molecules. That's what cholesterol is. It's a stress management molecule. Insulin is too. So is serotonin and these are other fundamental molecules. You, it it kind of makes sense that the fundamental molecules in the body be molecules that help us handle stress. And by stress, I mean the ups and downs of life. This is what life is all about. It's about ups and downs. There's no getting around it. You got ups and you got downs. In biochemistry, you got ups and you got downs. In psychology, you got ups and you got downs. There's ups and downs in life. That's what life's about. It's how we adjust to the ups and the downs. And that's what stress management means. Stress management means you pull the downs upwards and you pull the ups downwards. You adjust. And the body is constantly adjusting. That's stress management. Stress is not a problem. We're designed to handle it. That ain't an issue. It's when it overwhelms these up, uh, the, the homeostasis, the, the ability to pull, go up and down. And if by doing things like get, laying off a of cholesterol and by the way, laying off a of salt or poisoning the cholesterol system in the body or telling people that they have to avoid salt, which is another stress management molecule, you just deprive the body of its ability to deal with life. Col taking a statin drug deprives your body uh, uh, the, of the ability, the God-given ability that we have to, to deal with life. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back after this. Okay, we are back. 
on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. Love hearing from you. If you've got questions or comments or success stories you'd like to share, if you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised or recommended, please call 866-735-2470 or go to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com and order products right off the website or join, click on the join the team link. If you want to join the Brightside Ben team for a one-time $25 fee, you can be in business for yourself and earn thank you checks associated with having your own business, help change the world at the most basic and fundamental level there is, which is the level of good health. Work out of your home, enjoy all the tax benefits associated with having your own business, or just get your products at the wholesale price if that's what you so desire. Call 866-735-2470 for more info or go to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com and order products uh, or sign up right off the website. Click on the Join the Team link and sign up right off the website or order products if you want to order Longevity products as well. They're all up at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. All right, we're talking about what is my favorite, I have to say, probably my favorite biomolecule. I don't know, there's a lot of favorites. I've been studying this stuff for so long. You develop all, all, the, all the biomolecules in the body have kind of personalities when you start to study them. And cholesterol is just so amazing to me, it has this wonderful multifunctionality. It's, it's used in the body as a raw material for so many different things. And that's why uh, taking a statin drug is just so ridiculous to me. Your, your heart disease is not caused by cholesterol, but cholesterol is critically important for all kinds of functions. I'm reading, I've been reading a paper here for, actually been reading this for a while now, several months. Uh, it's dense with information. It's from the journal Lipids. November 2004, titled, What's So Special About Cholesterol? And in it, the author talks about a lot of things about cholesterol. But one of the things he talks about is the idea of membranes. Magic is at the membrane. The membrane is what turns one thing into another. And that's just true metaphorically, and it's true literally. There's magic at the membrane because the membrane is where point, substance A or thing A gets turned into thing B. Everything in the body, everything in chemistry, everything in life is really a bunch of things going from A to B to B to C to D to E to e, F to G. It's just things changing. Everything in nature is things changing. That's why stress management is so important because change is inevitable. We've got to figure out how to deal with change because change is inevitable. Cholesterol is involved with changes. It's involved with membranes. That's what makes it so, well, there's a lot of reasons that it's special, but one of the main reasons is it's a membrane deal. The, one, my favorite line from this paper Lipids and membranes are coming back, quote, lipids and membranes are coming back on the scene as a key research area, and there is a tremendous need for knowledge about the way in which lipids are involved in various stages of cell function. Lipids, meaning fats, are, membra are, are key players in membranes. Membranes really are, are, all membranes are fatty because life is watery. So in order to, to corral or circle life, you've got to have a fatty membrane, and that makes fats really important in health. And cholesterol, really important in health because the membrane is really important in health. How, we talk about fats on this program all the time. The importance of fats, whatever your health challenge is, one of the most important things you could do is work on your fats because that's like working on the membranes. The membranes are what give everything structure. Diseases when the structure dissolves, when we fall apart. Fats give a structure. Fats structure water, basically. They, it, it, actually, they don't really structure water. They surround water. That's what it is. They, they surround water. They create things out of just water, plain old water. That's basically what, the, what life is. It's fats that surround water. That's what a cell is. That's what all biological systems are. And by the way, there are membranes inside your cells. How mind-blowing is this? There are hundreds of thousands, maybe millions of membranes inside a cell and all of these membranes depend on <laughs> depend on cholesterol and the smaller you get the more quantum a, a system is the more dependent on quantum energy and, and the more i'm not even going to get into that because the inside of a cell and the cholesterol really are working like nuclear physics it's, it's nuclear physics that's happening it's literal sub-quantum chemistry 
It's electrons and protons. It's just crazy. And it's all about cholesterol, or largely about cholesterol. A membrane is like 20,000 times thinner than a piece of notebook paper. That's your typical membrane. 20,000 times. You can fit 20,000 membranes on a little slice of notebook paper. And this tiny little size allows them to work with energy in this really bizarre way. And cholesterol is a major, major player. Continue on from this paper. Uh, biological, uh, this pure emphasis, well, let's see where, no, in particular is necessary to achieve deeper knowledge about the structure of lipid membranes. This puts emphasis on the nanometer scale. That means the tiniest scale. Biological membranes, check this out. Biological membranes as a micro encapsulation technology. What does that mean? It means it's surrounding water. It's micro encapsulating. It's encapsulating. It's surrounding it, but micro membranes are micro encapsulation technology. And uh, here's the best part. Also in this respect, cholesterol is an important player. And if you're on a statin drug, you're depriving your body of doing, uh, of doing its business at this cholesterol making level. Now, this idea about lipids and cholesterol is not new to the bright side. We've been talking about it for seven years. Fats, fats, fats. They're so critical when it comes to health. There are growth substances, there are stress management substances. And in this growth and stress management role, cholesterol plays a major, major part. A cell is only as, cholesterol, is only as healthy as its membrane, and a membrane is only as healthy as its cholesterol. And this is all health and all disease, and it's not just the cell. It's all of the little substructures in the cell, especially the little substructures called the mitochondria, which are the substructures that make energy. So you say, oh my gosh, but I got my cholesterol is too high. My cholesterol is 260. My cholesterol is 305. What does that even mean? What does that even mean when it comes to health? Does that mean that you're going to have cholesterol clogging your arteries because the levels are high? No. Cholesterol doesn't just clog arteries because the levels are high. Cholesterol clogs arteries and the arteries are damaged. Cholesterol uh, clogs the circulatory system when... Uh, when it's trying to pay, the body's trying to patch something up. The key to dealing with cholesterol, if you have cholesterol deposits, is working your circulatory system. And the key to lowering your cholesterol is working your blood sugar. Elevated blood sugar goes hand in hand with elevated cholesterol. And if you're under a lot of duress, your cholesterol will go up. And oh, by the way, if your cholesterol is being used to make cortisol and stress hormone, and it is, it's not available to make testosterone and estrogen and all your steroid hormones that are important for growth and repair. So what ends up happening is you divert the raw material for stress at the expense of your growth and repair and fertility and creativity and happiness molecules. And this is so important. This is why reducing cortisol is another great strategy for helping lower cholesterol. It's why elevated cholesterol and elevated cortisol go hand in hand. All right, I'm Pharmacist Benny, 442366010 is our number. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back after this. Back on the bright side, 844-236-6010 is our number. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Got lines open for you. 844-236-6010. We're on the air Monday through Friday on the bright side, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central. And 24-7 on the archive pages at benfuchsarchives.com. Also, brightsideben.com. And you can purchase Longevity products or sign up to join the Bright Side Ben team from brightsideben.com or pharmacistben.com or criticalhealthnews.com. And you can purchase uh, Truth Skin Health products or Truth Skin Health products at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com or Truth Biomimetic Priming Mist, Biomimetic Mineral Mist. We used to call it the Biomimetic Priming Mist. And then I was like, why aren't we saying minerals? It's got 80 minerals in it. And not just any minerals, but fulvic minerals, plant-derived minerals, electrified minerals. They call them polyelectrolytes because they're... Just like electrolytes, electrolytes are ionically charged. They're, they're ions. They're uh, um, magnetically charged, positive ions, negative ions. 
negative ions are ions that have extra electrons to them. Positive ions have, have a, a dearth of electrons, a shortage of electrons. That's how these ions connect with each other, positive plus negative. These things form these long strings of, uh, of, uh, elect of electrolytes in the soil. Microbes will munch down on, the, on rocks and turn them into long strings of electrolytes. And these long strings of electrolytes are super negatively charged, super charged. That means they have lots of electrons and they're really, really electrically active. Why is that important? Because life's about electricity. The electrical activity of fulvic minerals acts like a doorbell to open up cells. Fulvic minerals are actually doorbell opener or garage door openers for cells. They open up cells. That's one of their major properties. And when they open up cells, they deliver minerals. They deliver all the things that they have magnetically attracted. Because remember, they're magnetic. Where you have electricity, you have magnetism. So polyelectrolytes are not just electrical, they're magnetic. The electricity allows them to open up cells. And the magnetic, uh, the, the magnetic properties allows them to attach or to, to magnetically pull in vitamins, magnetically pull in water, magnetically pull in mi uh, minerals, magnetically pull in amino acids. That forms these fulvic mineral fulvic nutrient complexes with minerals in the center. These are so amazing. And they're in the soil. They're in the dirt, which is also amazing that the humblest, most, uh, most underappreciated product of our planet, this three foot of soil is so unrecognized and not just unrecognized. I mean, we don't really think of dirt as being a good thing. Dirty doesn't have a good connotation. If you're a farmer, you think of dirt as a good thing, but the average person doesn't. And yet dirt is so darn important. Eat dirt. That's a Dr. Jo uh, Dr. Axe's book. Eat dirt. Yes, eat dirt. It's amazing stuff. Why is it amazing? Because of the fulvic minerals and the fulvic nutrients. The fulvic nutrients are the active ingredient in dirt. And the, uh, the fulvic nutrients are how a cell gets fed, how all cells can be fed. In fact, that's why they're so important for skin care. It's because you feed skin cells with fulvic minerals, topical fulvic minerals, internal fulvic minerals. Where do you get fulvic minerals? Truth biomimetic bio mineral mist. Not only does it act as an active ingredient itself, it facilitates the movement of vitamin C and vitamin A from your other truth products. So it makes the perfect delivery system for your truth treatments. Truth biomimetic mineral mist and all our truth treatments are available at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Okay, got lines open, 844-236-6010. We'll get your calls here in just a moment. Reading from the Journal of Medicinal Chemistry, one of my favorite medical journals. The Journal of Medicinal Chemistry, this was published uh, bah, 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 just last week, July 13th. Products of omega-3 fatty acid metabolism may have anti-cancer effects. A class of molecules formed when the body metabolizes omega-3 fatty acids could inhibit cancers, growth, and spread. That sounds cool, right? That sounds amazing. That's from the University of Illinois, right? That sounds pfft. a class of molecules formed when the body metabolizes omega-3 fats could inhibit cancer's growth and spread. The molecules have similar properties to, get ready for this, cannabinoids, marijuana. They are endocannabinoids. Yes. These molecules that are derived from omega-3 are the endocannabinoids. We're going to spend some time talking about how these cannabinoids, which you're hearing more and more and more about, and you will be hearing so much about it. You're going to be sick of hearing about cannabinoids. I'm telling you now, it's already starting to happen. When, when uh, the average, average Joe thinks of cannabinoids, thinks of probably the stuff that gets you high in marijuana, but there's a whole bunch of other cannabinoids that are found throughout nature. They are so fundamental. Just like the serotonin is fundamental, just like insulin is fundamental to life, just like cholesterol is fundamental to life, endocannabinoids are like that. And it turns out that these endocannabinoids are derived from omega-3 fats. They are a type of fat. They're a type of fatty acid, or they're a derivative of fatty acids, we'll say. They're not exactly fatty acids, but they're derived. They're very, very similar. In the same way that cholesterol is, or that cortisol is derived from cholesterol and testosterone is derived from cholesterol, endocannabinoids are derived from omega-3 fatty acids. This is, can be added on. Actually, you know what? It may be, I was going to say it could be added on to the benefits of omega-3 fatty acids, but it may be the reason for the benefits of omega-3 fatty acids, or at least one of the reasons for the benefits of omega-3 fatty acids, all the calming benefits. Omega-3s have a calming effect. They're anti-inflammatory. They calm the immune system down. 
They stabilize brain chemistry. That's why they're so important for folks who are dealing with depression or, or anxiety or memory problems. <clears throat> Excuse me. They're neural. They're, they, they dampen electrical energy in the nerves. Omega-3 fats, where do you find them? Eggs, once again, power foods. Omega-3 fats are found in cholesterol-containing foods like fish, organ meats. Omega-3s are. Mostly fish, though. Seafoods, organ, especially the organs of, sea, organs of fish. Omega-3 fats uh, play a role in keeping fish warm in cold water. So cold water fish are especially high in omega-3 fats. The best omega-3 fats are the parent omega-3 fats. Dr. Brian Peskin has written a lot about this. He calls them PEOs, parent essential oils. There's omega-3s that aren't parent omega, uh, aren't parent essential oils. The only parent essential oils, that means uh, mother essential oils that the other ones are derived from, are come from uh, uh, grains, flax in particular. The omega-3s that are found in fish are actually not essential. The omega-3s that are found in fish are uh, secondary. Not that they're not important, they're very important. The DHA and the EPA, they're extremely important, but they're not essential the same way that uh, the parent essential oil is that comes from uh, grains. All right, let's see here. Do one more and then we'll take a call. It's 844-236-6010 and we do have lines open. New study shows light, uh, sheds light on the complex dynamics of Parkinson's disease. It's from the journal Nature. Parkinson's disease affects 10 million people worldwide, yet exactly how the disease and treatments for its symptoms work remains a bit mysterious. Now, Stanford researchers have tested a, a theory of Parkinson's and found, it, and found it wanting a result, or found it wanting, I don't know what that means, found it lacking, I suppose, a result that could have implications well beyond Parkinson's disease. The theory in question uh, says that Parkinson's results from imbalance in brain signals, Im imbalance in brain signals, but according to these folks, these researchers at Stanford, it has more to do with the structure of the brain. It doesn't matter, folks. Parkinson's disease is deterioration of the brain, period. End of story. Molecular description of how the deterioration occurs is irrelevant. And this is why doctors and the medical model can't figure out how to deal with Parkinson's disease. Lower your blood sugar. Work on digestive health. Reduce your cortisol. Parkinson's disease, like most of our chronic degenerative diseases, are secondary to blood sugar problems and digestive problems and issues with cortisol. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll be back after this. Okay, we're back on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number. Got lots of lines open for you, and that means... Uh, well, we got one call here, so let's just go to Carl, the Truth Raider. Good morning. It's all you, Carl. Good morning, Ben. It is the Truth Raider show along with Pharmacist Ben on the <laughs> <Okay>. Radio Network. <laughs> <Great>. <laughs> Success story today. Yes, sir. Okay, I'm helping, I'm helping a couple. The lady's doing, as I talked to you before, she had difficulty with her thyroid. She was talking yes. about her thyroid shot. Yes. And was told that she had an allergy or something to, you know, iodine, for example. And she was told, told she had, wait, 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 hang on, Carl. She was actually told that she had an allergy to iodine or she believes she has an allergy? No medical professional will ever say that. I hope not. Do, or she believes well, it or she was actually told that? Yeah, she, uh, as far as I know, she was, she was told she had problems with, with being able to take iodine. Okay. Or something like that. Okay. Oh, okay. I, gotcha. Uh, well, just to I, be clear, I, I, just just to be clear, only because there's so much misunderstanding about this, and I hear it all the time. You cannot be allergic to an essential nutrient. That's like being allergic to right. air, right? Because if right. you were allergic to air, you'd be yeah. dead, right? Right. So you can't be allergic to yeah. oxygen. You can't be allergic to an essential nutrient. That's like the exact opposite of what it means to be an essential nutrient. It's an oxymoron. So you cannot be allergic right. to iodine. I hear it all the time. You cannot be allergic to vitamin yep. C. I hear that all the time. So go ahead. Anyway, just wanted to, be, just wanted to right. get that out so, there. So we made that correction. We made that okay. correction with her. And I'm doing pretty much the, the, I'm just gathering the information that you have on your show each and every day. And then what I try to do is the best I can to parrot that and tell other individuals about that. And so the, these, these folks, the, the, I I suspect that the gentleman suffers from psychosomatosis. <laughs> Could so be. With, with the, so, yeah. He's always Wait, but that's real. Psychosomatic. You know, but here's the thing. Yeah. Psychosomaticism, <clears throat> excuse me, doesn't mean it's not real to the person. 
person is really experiencing, right. he's experiencing what he's experiencing. And you don't want to, you know, you don't want to necessarily uh, marginalize somebody's experience. Uh, nonetheless, just like you have psychosomatic illnesses in a negative way, like you get sick from psychosomaticism, you can also get well that way. It's called the placebo effect. Anytime any, anybody sure. tells you that the mind or believes that there's not a major relationship between the mind and the body, anybody who does not believe there's a major relationship between the mind and the body, between the psyche and the soma, if you will, that's what psychosomaticism is, psyche meaning mind, soma, or psyche actually means spirit, and the um, soma being, uh, being the body. Actually, psyche means soul. Did you know that? Psychedelic means revealing the soul. Uh, anybody who doesn't believe there's a major relationship between the soul, psyche, spirit, whatever you want to call it, mind, and the body, all ha only has to think about the placebo effect which is so well known and so accepted in science that when drug companies are testing their drugs, they've got to do double blind studies to filter out the placebo effect. There's also the nocebo effect. Placebo effect is when you get better uh, from your belief system. The nocebo effect is when you get sicker from your belief system. So the placebo effect and the nocebo effect, these are all mind over body uh, ideas and psychosomaticism is real. Uh, and I'm not sure if I just answered you, didn't answer, I just digressed from your question or answered it, but that's really an important point. I mean, we talk about nutrition on this show all the time, but don't underestimate the power of the mind and the power of the emotions and the power of the psyche when it comes to how healthy you are or not healthy you are. And by the way, the link between that is your steroid hormones, particularly your stress hormone, cortisol, but also testosterone and, and estrogen and the hormone system in general is the link between the mind and the body. So if you think it's airy-fairy, just go and study about the hormones. Go ahead, Carl. I didn't mean to interrupt you there. No, no, I, I appreciate that. You're defining uh, the difference between the two, making corrections, and giving the, the true definition of these uh, the, the psychological conditions. Or, yeah. Or however, but his is on the latter. He's, he's telling us that he's got. They have a little boy. He's about. He's a wonderful little boy. He's about four or five years old, and he's telling his little boy, "All right, Daddy's not going to be around for too much longer." Oh, no, you know? he's not I, doing I, that. I, yeah. Are you yeah, kidding me? That's what. His, that's what his. Uh, the, 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 the the mom says. You know, his uh, his significant other told me yesterday. He's like he's preparing the three year old. How old's the kid? Preparing the nine year old kid to like be an orphan. He's about, He's about four. He's about four, four, four or five years old. He's a cute little boy. And he's telling him that daddy may not be around much longer. Great. Yeah. That's really <laughs> healthy. That's going to do. <laughs> yeah. like, all right. Boy. Add another screwed up human being to the planet. Yeah. <laughs> Unbelievable. So, all okay, right. I know. So I'm, I'm working with him. He had rashes on his forehead, all over his body. He's breaking out all over. This, this is the kid? Ago. This is the kid? No, this is the, the father had this. The <clears throat> What's father. his diagnosis? What did they diagnose him with? He told me that he had stage two throat cancer. And is it, is it true? Is it real? I mean, that could be a serious thing, of course. Uh, yes, his lady friend said, no, he's, he's full of it. <laughs> oh, is he making it up? <laughs> you know, that, it that up. in itself is an illness. People who make up disease, there are, that is a phenomenon. That's what I'm saying. That's something psychosomatic. To the point where he really feels that that that, that he's oh, so he's, he's not intentionally from, he's not like using it he's not like intentionally going out of his way to do it it's just like he believes he has this condition you're, what you're saying right right he had well well I can see that he was he was always in bed he had to go to fever he had you know you know what that's about Carl you know what that's about that that's about linking love to disease. So when we're sick our moms and dads give us love sometimes our moms and dads only give us love when we're sick. That's why it's important right. for for parents to care for their sick children, but not to like give them over extra attention or love that you're not giving them otherwise, because then you end up with a kid who becomes an adult addicted to being sick. That's how you get attention yeah. and love. So it's, that's 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 it has to do with child rearing that phenomena. And so for parents, you want to absolutely you want to make sure you're caring for your sick children, but you don't want to go over the top with extra love when the kid is sick, because then the kid will begin to link that extra love and attention that he's not getting otherwise with being sick. And that's where that right. psychosom that's where psychosomaticism comes from. That uh, that idea that you have yeah. to be sick to get attention and get be sick to get love. I remember when I used to go visit hospitals. When I was um, when I was a pharmacist, I would go visit patients in hospitals. And when I worked in hospitals, I noticed that there were a lot of patients who kept coming back to the hospital. A lot of patients kept coming back to being uh, to having some health issues. And I, I realized that's where you get so much love from nurses and so much attention from nurses. It's like 
sometimes people feel like that's the only way they can get love and attention. And that stems from a, a culture. It's a cultural thing where we only give people attention sometimes when they're sick and also stems from a, a childhood rearing issue we, where parents only give their kids attention when they're sick. And that is that a real phenomenon. Absolutely. You know, most right. people are the other way. You know, they're freaking out about, you know, they, they want to believe that they're healthy even if they are sick. So they like kind of ignore things. But then you run into people who, who you know, can make that up. And, and actually, you know what? And as I'm sure you understand, Carl. You can actually make yourself sick with the whole psychosomatic yeah. thing. You can actually literally change your totally. metrics, right? Change your biochemical metrics oh, yeah. that yeah. way. So that's why we always Absolutely. talk in this program about SMEP, spiritual, mental, emotional, physical. I never want to be the kind of nutritionist who just says, just take this vitamin and all will be good. In fact, if you're on a nutritional supplement program and you're not getting better or you plateau, you get better at first and then you, and then you sort of plateau, rest assured that there are other dimensions at play. So if you're, t if you're taking your selenium and your vitamin C, <coughs> excuse me, your ultimate selenium and your vitamin C and ultimate niacin and beyond tangy tangerine and ultimate EFAs and you're still not getting better or you're plateauing, rest assured there's a spiritual, mental, and emotional, a psychological dimension that's at play that's somehow lurking behind your health challenge. There's always going to be to a certain degree a psychological dimension, but it'll be much more dramatic if you find that you're not getting better even though you're on a supplement program and, uh, or if you plateau. And that's why it's so important to address all the dimensions of healing. We have to take spiritual vitamins and spiritual supplements right. and mental supplements and mental vitamins and emotional supplements. Read a book first thing in the morning. You know, first thing in the morning, I read a spiritual right. or a motivational book. First thing. And as much as I can during the day, but definitely first thing in the morning, find your favorite spiritual book. If it's the Bible, you read the Bible. If it's the power of now, read the power of now. If it's whatever you like, but something inspiring, inspirational, putting spirit inside of you, something that elevates your game, that ups your game mentally and emotionally, just as important as doing your beyond tangy tangerine first thing in the morning is doing your nutrition, your uh, spiritual, uh, emotional and uh, mental nutritional supplements as well. And so health is multidimensional. Having a success full life is multidimensional it's being successful and healthy spiritually being successful healthy mentally being successful and healthy emotionally as well as physically thanks carl appreciate the call buddy i'm sure we'll talk to you again sure. soon have a great day man all right that's all the time we have for today on the bright side i hope this program was inspirational to you that's what i want to be is inspirational not just a this not just a show about nutrition it's about being better in all manners of livingness and that's it thanks so much for listening have yourselves a wonderful, beautiful, awesome, spectacular day. Don't forget to check out our websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com for all the longevity products, and truthtreatments.com for all our truth skin health products. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now.